Hello everyone, Heinlein here and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial we will uh, go through how to use the auto cannon and uh, the rockets on the SA342L gazelle. The gazelle can carry 8 uh, rockets uh, of the SNEB 68mm rockets. You can choose from a variety of uh, munitions, including a high explosive uh, target pra practice, high explosive anti tank, uh, high explosive frag, and illumination. Today, let's go for a uh, high explosive frag. And for our M621 20mm autocannon, we, will, uh, we have a variety of uh, options as well. It is the combat, mi combat uh, mix. The uh, with uh, high explosive and armor piercing rounds as you can see and the high explosive incendiary those are great for unarmored uh, targets like uh, trucks for instance and the armor piercing that uh, works uh, on uh, light armored uh, vehicles uh, like the M113 and the sap eye is uh, which is uh, essentially an uh, all around uh, type of ammunition high explosive ar armor piercing round let's go for that one so, let's uh, set up our aircraft. We will uh, not be using the camera in this tutorial. Uh, the camera is only useful for uh, detecting targets and uh, scouting in uh, the L model. So, we are going to... Thank you. We are going to turn on our weapon station or power them up, like so. And as you can see, we have uh, 8 rockets on uh, the left pylon and 240 rounds of uh, ammunition for our autocannon. And let's give power to those stations by flipping these switches. It needs to be uh, said that uh, if you flip uh, both of them, uh, the auto cannon will be prioritized. So if you want to uh, uh, fire uh, the rockets, you need to uh, flip this one off, like so. And of course, you need to uh, flip up the ar the armament uh, master armament switch, like so, and put down our sights, like so. So at this point, we are ready to depart, and. Way out here, I have placed a couple of uh, technicals that we are going to shoot at. So let's take off uh, and head out. All right, I skipped uh, ahead a little. Down here is our uh, targets. So. We have uh, armed our rockets, let's flip our down our sight, like so, and let's uh, turn in very soon, just want to get uh, into a little bit better position here. Like so. Okay, let's just uh, pause for a little minute there. One thing to uh, say about the rockets is that they have a quite short range. That means they are dipping quite fast. So if firing on a long range, you need to really put a lead on the target or you need to get uh, quite close. When it comes to aiming, I have found that the most effective one is actually the eyeball method. You simply just fire one and see where it lands and correct. You just keep correcting until uh, you get uh, on the mark. Okay, let's um, pause again. Alright, let's fire one. Oh, that was way off. Yeah. Okay, let's break off here. Taking fire. And as you can see, I didn't destroy any of them. How embarrassing of me. But without complaining, just let's just uh, switch to guns and uh, let's try again. Alright, let's go for these two on uh, the front there. Let's uh, come down from the collective a bit. 
the 20 millimeter cannon has quite good range. Let's fire a few rounds. See where they land. Oh, not too bad. One is uh, burning. And two on fire. Let's break away. How much ammunition did we spend? About 100 rounds. Not too bad. Re always remember to uh, jink when uh, pulling away from a target like this. As you can see, the tracers are, are, are uh, appearing around me. Alright, let's go in for a new attack run. Come off the collective. You should never go above uh, 230 uh, kilometers an hour in this thing, or you will you run the risk of uh, spinning out of control. Don't ask me how I know that. Way short. Side slipping a bit here. on fire how much ammo do we have left 74 rounds let's go for the last one That was lucky. So guys, that is this for this video. Thank you all for watching. Like and subscribe if you uh, liked it. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.